Welcome back, we are here on Ito, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to the full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below, you're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar, and as you can see, we have rallied above the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking very bullish at this point. And we are most likely going to see the uh, 20 exponential moving average crossing the 50 moving average. And this is quite a bullish shine, to be fairly honest. Uh, we can also see that the MACD is crossing over at zero here, going into bullish territory. The same goes for the stochastic and also the uh, CCI is crossing over at 100. So all indicators are pointing to higher levels in the US dollar index. So today we saw the US dollar increase in value or appreciate and we also saw stocks and and um, also commodities and and the indices uh, rally quite significantly. And usually that is not always the case. Usually the when the US dollar um, appreciates everything else it declines in in value, but we may see um, that effect tomorrow in tomorrow's trade. However, we have been rallying above the 50 moving average several times in the past. We can we were on a rally here all the way above the 50 moving average. The same goes for here. So we have done this several times in the last few months. It does not mean that we are going to have a trend reversal, that we are going to see the US dollar go and trade above the 200 moving average and go all the way above 100 again. It, this could just mean that we are having a temporary rally and then we'll break down. There will be additional stimulus and that will act against the US dollar. But at the moment, US dollar trading about the 50 moving average. And as long as that is the case, you should expect uh, stocks, commodities, precious metals and so on to be pressured down in, in value. So let's look at the Great British Pound US dollar. So as you can see, we have fallen here quite drastically. However, we are still trading above the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, they are pointing to lower levels. MACD is crossing the signal line, CCI is crossing the signal line, and so is um, and the CCI is very bearish, and so is also the RSI. 20 exponential is holding. If that breaks, that opens the door to 50 moving at, moving average at the 13, the 51. But at this current stage. Um, rallies uh, are expected, basically from the fifty, the, from the twenty exponential moving average. Target here is these previous highs. First of all, thirteen seventy five. After that, we are going towards all the way up to fourteen. So that is in the long run. We are slowly going towards this level here, and that will probably take a month, a month or two, in order to get to those levels. So let's go and look at the US dollar yen. So due to the fact that the US dollar has been appreciating, we can see what basically happens in this currency pair. We were in the channel here. The 50 moving average was acting as a major resistant. And underneath here, we had also a lower channel, which was acting as support. At the moment, we have crossed the 50 moving average. We're heading uh, up towards the 200 moving average and it's to be seen whether or not the 200 moving average will be broken. We have tested that um, all the way back in June where we rallied above the 200 moving average and then fell again. So it this doesn't really mean that we are going to have a trend reversal here. As soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, you will see this fall. So, but this is a major opportunity in order to sell this because we could see a um, massive move to the downside when we get to the 200 moving average or we could see something similar what we saw in back in June where we rallied substantially above the 200 moving average and then just crashed and we fell all the way down to from roughly 109 all the way down to 102. So technical indicators are still very bullish here. We had a little bit of pullback at the end of the session, but out of all, um, overall, 
these technical indicators are very bullish. So we may see a gradual increase up towards the 200 moving week average. I have no interest to basically enter this market. When we reach the 200 moving week average and turn around there, I will definitely be shorting this. So let's look at Euro US dollar. So as you can see, we have fallen uh, quite a bit uh, due to the fact that the US dollar has been appreciating quite substantially. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for the Euro US dollar. So we are testing these previous lows. We have been here several times before. If this breaks, we're most likely going to 12.00. And after that, we are going all the way down to 11.75, give or take, just above the 200 moving average. Um, yes, if the US dollar continues to appreciate, that will basically weigh in on this currency pair and it will go lower. So this area here is going to be massive support. So we'll just have to see how far this basically falls. A rally from here above the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average opens the door to 12.25 and then beyond that to 12.34. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So as you can see, we have continued this fall towards the 50 moving average. It looks like the 50 is holding at this uh, current stage. We have tested it twice. Um, technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is very bearish. The stochastic is turning around. CCI is very bearish and the RSI is technically flat at this point. So if the 50 moving average was were to be breached, they will fall all the way down to these previous lows here. So 0.74. That is most likely where we'll fall to. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracement and see that our first Fibonacci retracement is here, 0 0.75. Next one is 0 0.74. And at 61.8 uh, is 73. So these Fibonacci retracements will come, will be very important if the 50, 50 moving average breaks, because then we'll start to test these, uh, these Fibonacci retracement levels. Uh, rally from here and above the 20 exponential opens the door to 77.50 and then all the way to 78.17 and in the long run I'm guessing that we are going towards um, 80. So let's look at the US dollar Canadian dollar. So also here we have rallied above the 50 moving average. We are actually uh, trading above the 50 moving average uh, right now and uh, if we get another candlestick here tomorrow and take out these previous highs here that could mean that we'll go up towards 13. So 13.00 that is very likely that we'll go there. Technical indicators are not very bullish. MACD is very bullish. Stochastic is not. It's technically flat at this point. The CCI is bullish and the RSI is bullish. So momentum is to the upside but we have been here before. We rallied here above the 50 moving average and then declined. We rallied here and then declined. And so we have had these occasional rallies in the US dollar that affects these this currency pair and other currency pairs. But at the moment, um, it's just a matter of waiting where this basically goes to. If we go all the way up to 13 and then turn around from here, and that is a massive selling opportunity. We are still in a downtrend. So this is a this is a quite big of a rally, but we are still in the downtrend. So long term perspective for this currency pair is that we are going to depreciate over time. So let's look at the cryptocurrency market. We'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So Cryptocurrency have been all over the place. This has not uh, Bitcoin has not been the one that has been uh, most volatile uh, recently. That was XRP. We'll look at that in uh, just in a few minutes. But as you can see here in the uh, in Bitcoin, 20 exponential is major resistant at the moment, and uh, 50 moving average is major support. So it will be interesting to see what basically happens when the 50 moving average travels this way and the 20 exponential moves that way. They will cross 
question is whether or not the 20 will move underneath the 20, uh, the 50 moving average. That will be an indication that this will, this trend will become bearish and not bullish, or that we basically um, rally from uh, when we get close to the 50 moving average and head towards 40. So it is to be seen. If we break the 50 moving average, then we are going significantly lower. We could fall all the way down to 20. We could also fall all the way down to the 200 moving average at 17,000 at this point. But 50 moving average is holding very nicely. So uh, pullback to the 50 is to be seen as a buying opportunity. So technical indicators are all over the place. There is really no really help from the technical indicators at this point. MACD is bearish. Stochastic is flat, CCI is uh, flat, and the RSI is a little bit bullish. But but seriously, it's you. We need an uh, indication of a uh, continued trend towards the forty thousand or a break below the fifty in order to determine where we technically are going at this point. So let's look at the Ethereum. So as you can see, we continue to bounce off the 20 exponential. Every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, we bounce. But we are momentum is not the same as it was here. We are gradually going sideways um, in this cryptocurrency. You can also see on the technical indicators, they are more bearish than they are bullish at, at this point. They are either flat or bearish. So. Uh, a break below the 20 exponential that opens the door all the way down to a 50 moving average of roughly 1,000. So this is currently at the at the daily chart is not over um, overbought. Um, it is not overstretched yet. But uh, if you look at the for example on the weekly chart, you can see that we are significantly overbought. We are at the same. Uh, the same area or price level as we were back in 2018 2017 before we basically broke down so it is almost it's almost a double top you could almost say so it's going to be interesting whether or not we continue we will fall from here towards the 220 exponential moving average or if we fall towards 1000 so this period here or most analysts that I have, uh, papers I have read, uh, say that this period is very different than what happened here. I don't think so. We are probably witnessing a very, very similar uh, price action as we saw here. This is, looks like a complete bubble, and this was definitely a bubble, both in Ethereum and also in Bitcoin. So uh, both are significantly uh, over bought in the weekly chart technical indicators are turning around in the weekly chart so if you look at the weekly this does not look very bullish to me it looks like that we are going to turn around here head towards 1000 we'll um, probably hit the 20 exponential at that point and then we'll basically see whether or not we'll bounce from the 20 exponential but my bet at the moment is that we are actually going towards 1000 and then we continue higher. So let's look at XRP because that was on a real wild ride today. So you can see <laughs> this candlestick here. We actually fell from 0 0.75, uh, 52 all the way down to 0. 35.50. So it lost more than half of its value today. So it rallied all the way here, lost mostly half of its value. So this is very strange. Um, I have not seen price action like this before. This looked like a pump dump, to be very honest, where people just pump it as far up as possible and then somebody just uh, pulls out. Uh, the plug and everything just falls apart. So I said in my last video yesterday, I would not enter the market until we tested the 50 moving average and bounced off that. We almost got that today. I did not expect this move. It was up roughly 45%, nearly 50% at one point, and then it fell by 
20, 25%. So it was crazy to be very honest. But we are still trading above the 50 moving average. If we test the 50 moving average and bounce from that, then it is a fairly good signal that we are going to continue gradually going higher. So um, that is interesting. Um, I don't, hopefully nobody bought it up here and there was just sellers because um, this was an absolutely horrible day for, for people that were trading on uh, XRP. If you look at technical indicators, they are they have turned around and become extremely uh, bearish at this point. But it will be interesting. I'm waiting still for that test of the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average, whether or not this bounces off that. Because um, this is a very cheap cryptocurrency compared to other cryptocurrency. And um, just a small amount of investment in this and it just hold it for several years could mean a massive, massive gain. But I'm still waiting for that, that bounce. So let's look at Litcoin. So as you can see, we had tried to rally here. We rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then broke down. And now we're trading underneath the 50 moving average. This is definitely not a good sign that when you try to rally, find major resistance at uh, the 20 exponential and then break down. So at this point, I would not be surprised if we fell all the way down to 100 and probably also in the long run fell all the way down to the 200 moving average. Uh, if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we are going significantly lower in this cryptocurrency. So you can see that we are running into resistance here at the 20, um, 20 uh, the first Fibonacci retracement. We are running into the next support is here at the 113 and all the way down to 61.8 is roughly at uh, at one hundred or ninety seven dollars. So it'd be interesting to see. We are actually trading in a triangle here. We will probably have a break to the upside or to the downside. But this is not looking very bullish uh, for Litcoin. Technical indicators are also all over the place. MACD is bearish. The stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bullish a little bit. Uh, we're still um, well. We're still trading on the zero. And the CC RSI is technically flat at this point. So, um, yes, break above the 50 moving average and the 20, that is a bullish shine. If we break lower from here, then we're heading most likely down to 100. So, let's look at NEO. So, as you can see, we have tried to rally. We did manage to break above the 20 exponential and are trading above the 20 exponential at this point. So, this is probably the, the uh, cryptocurrency that I would favor due to the fact that it is mainly used in, in China or in Asia and uh, they have a completely different way of, of looking at cryptocurrency as not just an investment tool and so on, but as something that you use in daily life. And if this becomes... Um, a way that uh, Chinese public, which is 1.3 billion people, will use this cryptocurrency at a, at a, at every single day, and this could be absolutely huge. This could be rival both Ethereum, probably also Bitcoin, in the long run. So, yes, but we are at 22 at this point. It is far away from 42,000. So, so. Um, it will be interesting to see what happens in this cryptocurrency going forward. So looking at these technical indicators, they are looking like they are ready to, to go to the upside. So if we break, um, if we get another candlestick here above the 20 exponential, then we're heading to $25. And then we're heading to these previous highs here at $28. So this cryptocurrency started off being, well, fairly high valued. You can see that we were all the way up at $134 uh, for NEO. And since then, it just has tumbled since basically at the same time that Bitcoin and all, all of the other cryptocurrencies tumbled. But now we're seeing a gradual grind to the upside. Actually, a fairly healthy move, not parabolical 
in any way. So, so yes, I could see this in one year time going up to 50, doubling your money, probably all the way up to, um, to a hundred in, in, uh, in, um, in one year or two years time. So a long-term perspective for this, it's looking really good. And also because it's used so commonly that it, it will probably, um, uh, soar at some point to the upside. So let's look at the commodities and precious metals market. We'll start by looking at oil. So as you can see, we'll need to go to the daily chart. Yes. So we are up roughly in the 3%. So I think I said this several times. We were going to trade sideways. We we're going to hit the 20 exponential and then we we're going to pop to the upside. And we did that exactly here. So this was fairly rare due to the fact that the US dollar was appreciating at the same time as this was rallying. Usually, usually the US dollar has a major effects on, on oil. Um, but at this point, that did not happen here. We rallied above 3%. We're trading at 53.25 dollars, and we are most likely going to head towards 55. So Yes, a very good day for, a day for WT, WTI oil. Technical indicators are turning around, looking very bullish at this point. So we are most likely going to go higher towards the 55 level. Um, if you were thinking about entry here, it is fairly risky to enter at this point. You should have entered it here. And you had a stop loss underneath and a target of these previous highs of roughly uh, 53.96, um, uh, give or take, or uh, 54, or even in the long run to 55. So we will most likely run into major resistance in this area. I can also look at the weekly chart. We can see that we are running into the 200 moving average, and we need to break the 200 moving average to go higher. If you manage to do that, then 55, probably 60, is also in in uh, uh, possible from here but a breakdown from here could open the door to all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average and that is very very far down but i don't think that is going to happen anytime soon so let's look at natural gas because that was uh, very interesting today due to the fact that weather conditions in the united states especially on the east coast have changed drastically so my previous analysis was that we are going to drop towards the 200 moving average then we had a massive snowstorm in the east coast and still is still raging and uh, every single time there is an um, fall in temperature or, an, or snowstorm whatsoever this market just goes parabolical to the upside people use natural gas in order to heat and uh, heat their houses and factories and so on so demand for uh, natural gas explodes every single time there is uh, bad weather conditions especially when it gets really 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 cold so we could head towards three uh, depending on how long these conditions last and when if this only lasts for a very short period of time we could see this very well tumble back to the downside so this was you could basically say normal demand this is basically what happens when you um, have a snowstorm in the united states and this basically is what happens when things really become parabolical you can just absolutely explode to the upside and usually this happens in winter time so we haven't seen this kind of move you could basically argue that this was one of them but this was basically it was too early um it was in the in the it was actually too early it started to uh, gradually do decline towards the 50 moving average and now it has rallied but if this continues for a long time we could actually see a spike similar to this one so pay attention to the news it really helps uh, to determine where we're technically are going also it doesn't really help that Biden basically set a stop to more um, 
and to more um, discovery of, of natural gas and oil in the United States. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have fallen yet again today. We are trading right here at the 50 moving average. And uh, at this point, I think that we are going to see copper uh, rally to the upside. 50 moving average is holding very nicely. And usually when that is the case, you can see it back here. You see these massive rallies to the upside. If the US dollar, for example, starts depreciating, yes, then you are going to see uh, copper prices rally quite significantly. Um, target here is um, 3.7. That is the target at this point. So yes, stop loss underneath here and a target of 3.7. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. And you can also get our full access to this video over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.